hey guys and here is your long awaited room tour so why don't we have a little look <laughs> it's pretty cool first of all we have our enormously long sound wall that Chase put up brilliantly <laughs> but we may need to adjust in the future but it works pretty well, to be honest. And, uh, well, who doesn't want like 42 squares of foam, let's be honest. <laughs> we have our lovely sofa set up here. She will prop my recognize from some of our streams on Twitch and things. But it's very nice, very cozy, very good for photo shoots and other things too. And we, of course, have our desk table <laughs> for the sofa, which we've got our little peripherals on, and our drinks, which are making an interesting shape, which I've just realised. Um, and then we come over here, we have our nifty little desk area, I guess. We've got a nice little mirror here and this is great for artwork and other things which I have kind of messily all along this shelf here. We have all of our makeup stuff and snacks because snacks are very important. And then we have the mantelpiece which if it wasn't being covered by the table currently you would be able to see a little bit better. But this is our lovely little centerpiece with our enormous mirror, which is fabulous. <laughs> and then if we come over here, we have all of the pet stuff, which can be moved into the corner if we need to for VR or photo shoots or whatever. And this is like our nice little photo shoot wall which is a little cluttered on the ground at the moment, but like I said, we can move all of that stuff out of the way if needs be. And we have Zeldris's cat tree. I'm not sure if we'll post it before or after, but we will have, I mean, we might even put it in the video to be fair, but we'll have Zeldris's room tour as well. <laughs> as she did a spectacular job of showing around the room last night. And as you can see, here is the little angel herself, sleeping away peacefully, her darling, in her lovely little bed, taking a cat nap. <laughs> yeah, little baby. And then we have where the magic happens on our lovely decks with our lovely RGB gamer toothless background that I drew for Chase because he loves toothless and other things. It's a great drawing. <laughs> Very proud of it. It looks great. <laughs> but um, we have all of our stuff here. And then we have this wonderful thing that was built by the very talented Chase who is currently filming. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we have all of this lovely wood stuff that he built himself. It's very nice. And we've got his lovely shiny pearls that he inverted with a nice little cover on it so that you don't whack your shins on it and things. Which is what you just heard me back into. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, and he's lovely covered everything on the bottom so that most of the little metally bits are all covered and it looks nice and neat, it's very comfortable to sit in there. An actual car seat, yeah. which is pretty cool and it does slide forward and stuff which is handy. And then this thing which we bought and then customised with all of the extra bit on it to make it nice and easy to use. And it 
have this lovely shifter over here which works great and we changed the handle on it for this chromatic one because it's cool and he did actually build his own handbrake that worked perfectly fine out of a little bit of pipe and a controller for a while and had it all wired up it's pretty awesome but we did actually manage to buy a handbrake recently so we've got the full kit and caboodle now which is pretty awesome and then if we come here we have this cute little shelf with little bottles and jars and things like a little alchemist fairy shelf kind of thing it's very sweet for knickknacks and I might might do some more with it and make it a little bit better than it is currently but it's pretty good we'll have to admit was very heavily inspired by Nerdforge's video on the bottles and things. It just looked so cool and I've got so many random ribbons and knickknacks lying around and bottles and we were like what a great thing to do with them and it looks awesome. We also have some great Pokemon posters. We have this lovely stained glass Eeveelution one up here which I love. I'm pretty sure we got them from Timu, didn't we? Yes, we did. They're pr pretty good, and they're like fabric as well. Yeah, we have oh, canvas paper. <laughs> More Eevee Lucians. Do you think I like Eevee? <laughs> and if we come over here, we have Gengar, Haunter, and Ghastly. And we also have Ash, Greninja, Halicha, and Goondra, Talonflame, Neuburn, and Pikachu from the XYZ series because that is my favourite series and that is a really cool poster. <laughs> and then we have our lovely display shelf up here which currently has my small collection of headsets on it which we will eventually be putting on the wall which will be quite exciting. We have my lovely collection of dinosaur statuettes. I like to think of it my little ARC collection. It makes me very happy. We have Derpy Psyduck. <laughs> A lovely little official Pokemon plushie with my official Pikachu snapback on him. And we have this freaking awesome Lego tall neck from Horizon Zero Dawn that Chase built or rebuilt for me for my birthday this year and isn't that just the coolest thing ever? We actually won that from Con City giveaways which are pretty cool. I mean gambling and all that but I mean kinda dope, not gonna lie. <laughs> And then finally, but absolutely not least, we have our amazing nerdy display shelf here with some awesome collectibles on it. We have Gandalf up here sporting a lovely magician. Uh, that is a magician's combination holo card. That is really cool. We have a few of those Hello Kitty X Yu Gi Oh plushies. <laughs> yeah, they're from McDonald's. <laughs> and I love that we have actually that's like a one side of a, a game mat on the back for the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck, which is here. We have a couple of Yu Gi Oh boxes, a few around the place with some Pokemon cards here and as you can see we currently have Hollow Lucario and Hollow Leopard display. We have a little Luna statue. <laughs> we have a few Bakugan cards 
toss it around the place with these lovely displays here and a few Bakugan displayed out there. No, I need to pee. No, oh, no. <laughs> um, Quick, wrap it up. And we've got loads of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Which is all on a shelf that I built, on a shelf that I built, next to my thing that I built. <laughs> go, go, go. I'm run. I'm really little, so I can't run. <laughs> I'm stuck, but I need to pee. You can make it. <laughs> no. Film it a little bit, though. Kind of funny. How's it going, dog? Doesn't look too impressed. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah, bloody adorable. 